Hey, what's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing today? Haven't made a Guild Wars 2 video in a while, so I thought I would make one on the talent tree system or the trait system. There's a lot of different names for it. I've even heard somebody call it a passive tree because, you know, you're not gaining any actual abilities that you can physically use. They're all passive abilities and, you know, they're behind the scenes abilities. You're not going to know they're working until you, you know, actually do something. So, if you're looking on the screen, this is the trait system. There's five choices I can pick from and I can put my traits in any of these categories. Each one's going to do something different and it all depends on what class you're playing. I'm playing the warrior, so they're mostly focused on increasing my attack power or increasing my defense or increasing my crit or increasing my health you know it depends on how you want to build your character if I want to put them to strength of course strength is gonna make me hit harder very easy to understand once you just highlight over the ability it tells you exactly what it does um, each category is gonna give you a primary stat and a secondary stat so, you know, right here you can see it's going to increase my attack power by 10 and my condition duration by 1%. So I'm putting my points into strength. And boom, I put 5 into strength and I get a passive ability now. Now this passive, you know, sometimes it's going to be really bad and other times it's going to be really good. You, you can't really change it, you know, you're forced to get the first passive. I put 5 more points in and boom, I have a passive I can change out. You know, like I said, certain ones are going to be better, but, you know, for right now, I'm using Death from Above. I find myself falling off mountains a lot or jumping off accidentally, so this passive might help me. It reduces the damage by 50% when I fall off a mountain or something like that. So if you find yourself dying a lot from falling, pretty cool passive ability. <laughs> but you're not, you're not forced to go down a certain category or tree you can always take the points and put them somewhere else you know if I put some points into strength I could put some points into arms I'm not forced to go all the way down which is I like that you know if you want to build a glass cannon or a warrior that does a lot of damage but he doesn't have any defense or HP you can do that if you want to build a warrior that's a tank you can do that very very you know complicated once you dive into it and understand all the different passives you can make a pretty cool character and a pretty cool spec which is what I like now in order to get all the way down the whole entire tree you're gonna have to put 30 points into the tree and then you unlock the Grand Master abilities now these abilities are the best of the best but you will find some of them are kind of useless and you know you're never gonna use them so you know it is it is a good system but you know they might need to buff or nerf a couple of them a couple of the passives but all in all I think it's I really like it I really like how one day you can be a tank and the other day you can be you know someone that does a lot of damage really cool there's gonna be a lot of different builds when the game comes out which is cool you know you know I wanna try this build I can try that build I wanna try this build but everyone I think is going to have their unique style of playing, you know, depending on what passives you put in and what passives you take out. But we're going to have to wait and see when the game comes out, how many cookie cutter builds there's going to be, or even if there's going to be, you know, a lot of them. I think there is because there's so many different passives and these passives do a lot of different things. So uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. But I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope it informed you about the, you know, the trait system. I really like this system. And we'll see how it is when the game comes out. Peace.